Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey, welcome back to my channel. My simply soulless subscribers welcome back to my channel guess what I have hit my 100 mark and according to YouTube that is the hardest thing to do and I hit it well I passed it because I have like hundred and forty something I think I'm not sure let me don't overplay myself um, but yeah thank you guys for rocking with me this far and for those of you who are new Welcome to my channel. You know, guys, I have been missing in action. I know. Like, your girl even came back with the international quarantine hairstyle braids. And I got my nose pierced. Like, a lot was going on, guys. And I did not have time to shoot. And I did miss you guys. So, I do apologize. So, I was like, you know what? Let me come and record a video. Because it's a holiday in the Bahamas. It's actually our Independence Day. Happy Independence to my Bahamians. And... I've decided to take this holiday and record a video for you guys because I missed you guys and I do apologize for going missing. But this video is, as you can see in the title, Travel Guide to Eleuthera. So I recently went on a mini vacation to Eleuthera and it was amazing. Like, it was very, very, very peaceful. Sorry, I'm in the studio recording by myself and I keep hearing stuff anyway but yeah it was very peaceful I really did enjoy my trip to Eleuthera my plan for the rest of 2020 is to travel to all of the Bohemian islands well the ones that I haven't been to as yet I may revisit the ones that I have been to already but I'm not too sure and I'm going to vlog my experience and share it with you guys now yeah, because I don't, I don't think I'm going to travel. Inter I don't think I'm going to travel internationally for the rest of 2020. I'm not sure. So I'm going to travel the Bahamas. Yes, to mess to travel all 2020. So stick with me as I travel the Bahamas, and I promise to give you as much information on these islands as possible. Now, usually when I see travel guides or travel vlogs, well, mostly travel vlogs, people like just um post what they're doing what they did for the whole day which is fun because i like watching it because i enjoy some but sis needs to know some answers i need to know where to stay i need to know how much this costs i need to know where to eat i need to know your experience that's me i don't know if it's because i nosy but i feel like if somebody's been someplace and they could give me as much information as they can about that place i would be really really grateful so that i know what to expect so so that's my thing for when I um, watch travel guys like I really need to know your overall experience I need to know some of the prices I need to know like how places look like because these internet be lying like they be lying but that's me so in this video I'm going to tell you what to do where to go where to stay all that good stuff so let's get to it First and foremost, what to pack. Now, guys, we are going to a family island. So, there are limitations on things that you can get. So, for all of my international peoples, we don't have Walmarts over here. We don't have Walgreens. We don't have all those big name brand stores. You still can get most of the stuff from here, which you get in the U.S., but it just wouldn't be, like, on that scale. And that's in Nassau, which is the city. So when you go to the family islands, which is much smaller, you definitely have limitations on the things that you can get. So first and foremost, I would say pack anything that you think you may not be able to get on the island. So if you have like a certain type of medication that you want, if you have like a certain type of soap, a certain type of face scrub, any of those things that you think you may not get, pack those. Secondly, but most importantly, the cars on the islands are not as up to date as if you would go to a budget car rental or a dollar car rental or like car rentals, car rentals in Nassau. So the cars are pretty old cars, I would say. Pack your auxiliary card because some of the cars may not have a USB port and pack one of those, I don't even know what to call them, you know, the phone charger things that you jerk into the cigarette lighter thing because I think that's the the thing in the car which you open up and you push the sick you push it through and you can light your cigarette 
I think it's a cigarette lighter. I think that's what it's called. But you know, the charger that goes into one of those that has the USB onto it, bring that because I did not bring one of those and I couldn't charge my phone on the road. So like my phone was, when my phone was dead and we was on the road, like it was dead. So I would say bring that, the little cigarette car charger thingies. Yeah, those. Just definitely important. Okay guys, so if you see me putting my head down, I made some notes, so that's what I'm looking at. Um, insect repellent, you don't have the packet because I'm pretty sure you can get it on the island. We didn't have a chance to get it because also guys, we were still on curfew. So like some of the stores and everything like they, well not some of the stores, all of the stores on the island basically shut down at 10 p.m. So the store shut down at 5. So if you don't get like, if you don't get the places in time by 5 o'clock, I can say a bohemian saying, dog eat your lunch. That means you can't get nothing at all. So you just stuck with whatever it is that you have and you just got to go with it. So. Yeah, insect repellent, I would say, you could pack it, 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 it's not a must. So those are like things I would say to pack, like those are the most important things, especially that auxiliary cord. If you're a person who like to listen to music when you're driving, auxiliary cord. And that cigarette charger, most important things. Other than that, just pack, like you would pack to go to some places. Because me, I would always pack something where I think I can't get it like in a place. So I always pack thinking thinking that okay you know what i'm not going to be able to get these stuff so let me just pack these now how do you get to Eleuthera? now there's a few ways you can go by boat if you're staying in harbor island which is an island off Eleuthera, um i'm gonna have a separate travel vlog um showing my the travel vlog showing like what I did and my like, days of being there like I was vlogging as I was going but I know that I wanted to, to come into studio and record a separate vlog like a travel guide but yeah if you're staying in Harbor Island you can go by the ferry I think it takes I'm not sure how long it takes because I've never been but I think it takes like an hour or two I'm not too sure I don't want to quote myself wrong but I know it takes it's, it's much longer than a plane. So you can go to Harbor Island, and if you're staying on the mainland, I would say you can go, go to Harbor Island, and then you'd have to take a ferry from Harbor Island to Naughty Uthra, and then you'd have to drive from wherever it is that you're driving from there. Um, but the most, so that's what you would do if you go on a boat. I don't know if they have like the slow freight boats, you can probably go on it, but it, it, it don't make no sense. I wouldn't suggest it. But the quickest way to get there is by plane now for you guys for my fellow bohemians you know straight flight from nassau bahamas air goes there um pineapple air goes there my personal preference is bahamas air that is my airline of choice where i go when i go anywhere that they fly i would always fly bahamas air that is my favorite airline this is not being sponsored by anybody guys this is just my opinion and this is just my experience but bahamas air is my airline of choice i know some people like feel weird about traveling with like country like flagship airlines of that country like, i went to europe i was scared to fly like easy jet i think that's what it was called like i was scared because i i didn't know about it and i didn't know like what to expect like i just used to the delta and all of these stuff like you know the well-known airlines so you get some anxiety like when it comes to traveling flagship airlines but Take it from me guys, rest assured, Bahamas Air is one of the safest airlines you can travel. They may be late sometimes, but they will get you there and they will get you there safe. And the flight is awesome. Like the pilots, them, they take their time, they, they try to make the flight as smooth as possible. That is my, I don't think y'all understand how much I love my airline. Like, shout out to Bahamas Air, be my favorite. So, yeah. I'm actually wearing the Bohemian colors for independence. You can't see my outfit, but yeah. Um, but like I say, so you can go on Bahamas Air. It's a direct flight from Nassau. Pineapple Air is a direct flight from Nassau. I think they have two flights a day to uh, three of the airports. So it's Naughty Lutra, Saudi Lutra, and then it's Governor's Harbor, which is central. And they have flights to three of those two times a day. This is before COVID, so I'm not too sure now. Well, now they, like, some of the, they don't go to, like, some of the parts now doing COVID. But I'm sure, like, when this thing blows over, they would be going back to their regular schedule flight. So two flights a day, morning and evening, to Eleuthera. 
um then they have flights um directly from the u.s i'm not sure i think it's from florida silver airways i think goes there so you can check that out for any of my international persons who wants to come but you can like i say you can go direct to naughty lutra i'm not sure if they come to roxanne or governors but i know i saw a silver airways in naughty lutra i'm not exactly sure where it came from but i'm thinking like florida and but if not you can come to nassau and then take bahamas air to Eleuthera. So Bahamas Air, I mean, so yeah, so you can get the Nassau from, you know, JetBlue, Delta, all of those. Nassau, then Eleuthera. Um, but yeah, that's the, the quickest way to get to Eleuthera is by plane. How to get around. There are no local buses in Eleuthera. So it's not like when you come to Nassau, you can catch a bus to go to different parts. So there's no local bus. Um, taxi, you can do taxi, but that's going to get really expensive. So my suggestion is to just rent a car. Rent a car one time. It's much easier. You're going to need it because the islands are pretty long and it's a lot of driving. So I would say a car is needed to get around. I would always suggest that you rent a car when you go to a family island it's just needed um now what type of car like if i would say my suggestion is to rent a jeep and the reason i suggest renting a jeep is because when you want to go to like sites and stuff the roads are really bad so a jeep is more manageable than a car so i would say rent a jeep now i rented my car from cadet car rental the service was really good um i'm i'm gonna say this though like if you don't reach them via like the cell phone number they have online because they do have a I think it's cadetcarrental.com. They do have a website and they have a number listed. So if you can't reach the number that's listed, I would say send them a WhatsApp because it's a, they are cell phone numbers on there. Send them a WhatsApp message or just send them an email on the email that's listed and then they get back to you pretty fast. So what I did was I was calling and then I couldn't get through. So I decided, so you know what, let me just send a message. And when I sent the message, he answered, the guy answered me back like the next 10 minutes if that. They are specialized in Jeep, but they do have other cars. But like I say, I suggest you rent a Jeep. And I rented a Jeep Liberty, which was $80 per day. Um, car rentals and hotels in the islands tend to get pretty expensive. So you're gonna spend some bucks if you're gonna rent a car. So I think the regular car rental was like $60 a day. And yeah, it's like $60 a day. But there are other car rentals, because I think the other one that I was checking out was turn quest car rentals and he was pretty nice as well but i i don't think he had any jeeps i'm not sure as to why i didn't rent from him but he was really nice he answered me back right away um they answered all of the phones but i don't think he had jeeps so i think for me i would recommend that you go to cadet car rental if you want jeeps i'm pretty sure there's other places on the island but those are the two main ones that i tried but once you go into Google and do car rental in Eleuthera, you will know because then, you know, they have different parts of Eleuthera that you can rent a car from. Now, Cadet Car Rental is based in Governor's Harbor. Right of state. Um, so, Eleuthera is pretty long. So, there's like three parts. Like I say previously, there's South Eleuthera, there's Central, which is Governor's Harbor, and then there's North Eleuthera. Um, so they all three of them have airports so i would say i would suggest staying in governor's harbor because it is central it is central and like most of the nicer hotels are in governor's harbor and that's more of the like city type vibe if you understand what i'm saying now uh, doing this whole covid thing some of the flights are not available so they didn't have any flight to governor's harbor but they had flights to saudi lutra i had to go into i had to go in through rock sound and the car rental company picked me up from rock sound and it was an extra fee of course it was 45 dollars for them to bring the car down to rock sound so they brought the car to rock sound for um for me and and then i had to drive to governor's harbor which was a pretty i would say about 30 minutes drive it was pretty long so yeah 20 to 30 minutes drive so they do have pickup service pickup service available i'm not sure if they have pickup service from naughty lucha but i'm sure that you can make it happen but um now like that's like what area i suggest to stay now you can get hotels which there's a lot there are lots of lovely hotels in Eleuthera. like you have french leave you have um hotel you have the cove you have la 
Boken Villa, I think that's that's what it's called. People have, um, is it called Roxang Inn? I don't want to name these people place. But yeah, you have in the south, you have like Roxanne, those hotels, and like you have unique villas. They're like, there's lots of hotels in Eurythra, like lots, but they can get really expensive. I think French leave and and the call them on a high end, so rooms can range anywhere between 300 to like $600 a night or more. So they're more expensive. Me, me personally, when I go to the family islands, I would stay in an Airbnb. So that's, that is what I did. I stayed in an Airbnb. Um, there's lots of Airbnbs. Um, the one that I stayed to was called Anchor Point Apartments in Governor's Harbor. And it was really nice, like completely clean. It was amazing. I'm gonna link the video because I have a video, a separate video for the Airbnb to this video. But like I say, I would suggest that you stay in Airbnb because then you have the option to cook your own food because buying food on the island can get really expensive. Like me and my friend, we it was, it was me and my friend who went, we went for breakfast and our breakfast for like two person was $84 and I got like a traditional bean in breakfast. I got like a stew fish and she got like a American breakfast with like pancakes and eggs and grits and all that stuff and it was like 80 and two mimosas and that's like $84 so it can get really expensive buying food so if you stay to Airbnb you can go to the stores and buy your own your own food now there are nice stores they have pretty good stores you can get what you need like the salmon the steaks the seasonings so the two main stores in Elutra are Burroughs and Elutra Supplies so they are pretty good stores I heard that they there's a good store in Roxanne like a really nice supermarket in Roxanne. I have never been to it, but I heard that it's really nice. Um, yeah, so that's a really nice one in Roxanne. There are stores in Naughty Lutra. There's, like, there's stores all over the island. Um, so you can find food. So I would say stay in Airbnb and if you have the time, cook your own food because it can get, like I say, really expensive to purchase. Now, purchasing food, there are lots of restaurants as well. You have some like little local places and then you have like, well, they're all local places. Then you have like the high-end places, like the French Leave has their own restaurant. You can eat there. The La Bocanville, I think it's called. I really need to stop pronouncing these things wrong, but I think that's what it's called. They have a restaurant there. So like the hotels would have restaurant in them. But besides that, um, there's some neat little restaurants. Um, there's Pascal's, which is another nice restaurant. It's actually a nice little hangout spot too. Like it has like a pool area and it's like overlooking the ocean and it's really beautiful. They had a, a pool party there on Sunday. Pascal's is the cutest place ever. Like I love that little pool bar. Their food is pretty good as well. Um, like I said, we didn't eat to too much restaurants, but there are restaurants all along. I think we got some daiquiris from Twin Brothers that was in Hatchet Bay. Um, we stopped there. There's a lot of restaurants in Harbor Island. We went and we ate at the Queen Conk in Harbor Island, which is really good. Um, those are just where I ate from and that I would recommend because the food was really good. Um, but there are lots of restaurants along the way. So I can tell you one thing. Family Island is the true definition of just road because it's just road. Like the drive is really long to get from one side to the next like it took us i thought i could do drive in 20 minutes to from governor's harbor to naughty lutra but it took me an hour to drive from governor's to naughty lutra like it's really long so let me tell you something just put in your mind that you are going to be driving for a long period of time to get to anywhere like all of the nice sites now Unfortunately, because of COVID-19, all of the tour companies were closed, so we had to be our own tour guides. So guys, listen to me. When I say we were exploring, we were exploring. We went through all those little roads. We went to everything. But in the future, because the tour companies, they, they opened back up like that Monday when we left. That was so annoying. Like I was pissed. But we did book. We was trying to book a tour with the Lutra tour. And... They take you to the lighthouse beach, they give you um, lunch and they do water and you can go fishing, you can go either buy a boat or you can go via Jeep. Um, if you go via Jeep, they cook 
food for you over like a open fire I think and either way the tour sounded really good but we couldn't do it because the Prime Minister closed down the country and said no tours um, but yeah they're open back up now so there's the tour companies I would suggest is Fishbone Tours, Elutra Tours um, they have Pig Beach Bahamas Tours so you can go and swim with the pigs on the beach feed them do all of that um i would say check those out now book your tours in advance trust me anywhere any i mean anytime you go somewhere you would want to book your tours in advance because trying to go to the island and book a tour right then and then i don't I, I wouldn't say do it because like i don't think people like it's mobilized that quick so book your tours in advance and those are some of the tour companies there are much more like when you go to certain sites they have like um they have like tour companies posters and stuff and then at the airport they have like a little brochure with tour company and yeah so you can go on tours um you can go on your own if you rent a car you can you don't have to book a tour you can just go to these places on your own and um, we went to preacher's cave we went to queen's bath we went to twin cove beach we went to we didn't find hatchet bay case but i'm pretty sure it was there somewhere but as you drive along the road they have like cute little sights and stuff to see for all of my vloggers who want those bomb pictures here are some of the places you can take pictures i would say queen's bath it is I can't even explain it if you go into my travel vlog I, I have a clip of it but it's really really amazing like it's like this cave in this I, I can't even explain it just watch my vlog and you will see so Queen's Bad is a nice place you can have you can take pictures on the pineapple farm so that was funny we went on the pineapple farm and after we came out we saw the sign that says keep out but we didn't take anything we just went to take pictures so we went on our own nobody was there so we just took some shots and we left um i have that in my vlog as well that was that was funny so yeah pineapple farms now we are riding we are riding along from naughty lutra to governor's harbor and we we're riding back and i saw this cute little farm i can't remember the name i'm gonna put it in I'm gonna put it right below if I remember he had the cutest sunflowers so I we just I just stopped there and I took pictures and that's just the thing like you can just go driving along and you would like stop and see something and it's just like boom this would be a nice place to take pictures so if you're a person who have an eye for photography the whole the whole is just a mood like it was like my favorite thing like when we were driving was they have these like I thought they were sugar mills but they're not so apparently they're like places where they used to keep the hay for cows because there'd be like cows crossing the road randomly so watch out for that in Hatchet Bay but they have like these places where they used to keep the hay, hay and it's like it looked like little sugar mills and they have like the one of vines coming off off of it and then they are such they are so cool like to take pictures like if you can get closer to them and I know inside is even more amazing but we didn't have time to go inside of them um most of them didn't have a road but I guarantee you I wouldn't make a road but I was in other people's vehicles so I wouldn't I wasn't gonna do that um so yeah but where that where else preachers cave preachers cave is a nice place to take pictures but listen to me those mosquitoes in preachers cave would pick you up and carry you like they would pick you up and tote you to wherever because like they was not playing with us once you were insect repellent we didn't have on any I would say Preacher's Cave is a nice place to take pictures. Have lots of pink sand beaches. Like Twin Coves is Twin Cove is a nice beach. Um, they have um, Alabasca, I think it's called. <laughs> I really say these words wrong. Sorry. Um, they have a lot of pink sand beach. Like that's the good thing about it. Through like they have a lot of nice beaches. Really crystal clear waters. So anywhere is a mood to take pictures. Like oh yeah, you can just stop anywhere and take photos. But yeah that was my trip to Elutra like overall I recommend it like Elutra is amazing I cannot wait to go to my next family island because Elutra was it like I loved it oh yeah so nightlife in Elutra um there wasn't much because we were there like there wasn't much nightlife because like I said we had a curfew for 10 p.m but 
the last night we did went to this cool bar called Ronnie's and we just sat outside and we was just like drinking beers and having fun like the locals are very cool so like everybody just be hailing you saying hi or whatever so that was pretty fun I'm pretty sure there's a uh, lots of nightclubs there um, Harbor Island I've heard that Harbor Island is the place to go for nightlife like I heard that the party never stops in Harbor Island I did I've never spent a night there but I've heard that it is the place to be I yeah so that is my Eleuthera travel guide guys I hope that it helps you on your travels to Eleuthera if you are planning on going there um, if you have any questions just leave a comment below and thank you for watching this video give me a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to hit that subscribe button guys I really hope that this video was helpful for you